So now that we've calculated our changing Gibbs free energy uh, for our glucose combustion to form carbon dioxide and water, we know that this is negative um, and that the reaction is therefore favored or it's spontaneous. But what do we really mean when we say favored? So we mean favored in the same sense that we would if we were talking about equilibrium. So as a quick reminder, we're talking about if we have an equilibrium between two reactants where this is the balanced equation. And KEQ is the equilibrium constant between them. So KEQ by the law of mass action will result in this equation. where the products are in the numerator and the reactants are in the denominator. So that means if the reaction, if the equilibrium is product favored, that means the numerator will be much larger than the denominator. So KEQ will be greater than one for a favorable reaction. Whereas if the equilibrium lies to the left with the reactants, and after equilibrium there's still more reactants than there are products, that means the larger terms will be in the denominator, which means KEQ will be less than one for an unfavorable reaction. And so we have a mathematical relationship between the Gibbs free energy and equilibrium. And that's written like this. Where we have the change in the Gibbs free energy. R is the uh, free gas constant, uh, the universal gas constant, excuse me. T is the temperature in Kelvin. And then uh, this is the ln of the equilibrium constant. And so what we see is in a favorable reaction, del G will be negative, and the KEQ will be greater than 1.